So I'm sure most of you, through some way or another, are to some extent aware of our current political climate. And if you are aware of our current political climate, you've probably picked up on the fact that our government is very polarized. In fact, our government is the most polarized it has ever been in our lifetimes. Let's take a look at these weekly. The first image is of congressional voting in the House of Representatives from 1949 to 1951. Take note of how many people of different political parties agreed on issues and voted across party lines. Now let's take a look at congressional voting in the House of Representatives from 2011 to 2013. Do you notice something different? If you take a look at this graph, you can see the gradual process of Congress becoming more partisan, eventually leading us to Congress as it stands today. The effects of Congress becoming more and more partisan, which includes less compromise and therefore less productivity, are not just problems of the government. They are problems that are noticeable everywhere. The process by which we uh, gain our political beliefs is called political socialization. And studies have shown that the number one influencer on our political beliefs are our parents. Other factors affect our beliefs as well, such as the media we choose to consume, the people we choose to befriend, and the schools we attend, but the number one influencer on our beliefs is our family. These political beliefs for most people remain unchanged, if not become more certain as we grow older. Um, however, oftentimes as our political beliefs become more certain, the idea that what we believe is somehow superior or better than what others think also starts to grow. This mode of thinking, thinking that your belief is the right belief or the educated belief or the whatever belief is incredibly harmful. It inhibits progress, prevents understanding, and does not allow for something our government desperately needs right now, bipartisanship. Additionally, this growth in polarization has quite literally caused liberals and conservatives to grow farther apart from each other in everyday life. Um, those people of different political beliefs are more likely to consume news sources uh, that cater to their own political beliefs. They're less likely to befriend those whose beliefs are contradictory to their own, and they're even more likely to live in different parts of the country. Over my spring break, I had the wonderful opportunity to work in the House of Representatives in the office of Congressman Barry Loudermilk. He's a Republican, and I'm going to be completely honest. Uh, with the way our current political climate has been going, I walked into this office with so many preconceived notions about how I thought his office, and not only how his office, how the people in his office would behave and function. When I walked in on the first day, I was shocked by how normal the office was. I found it so strange that they did little things like joke with each other, as if because they were Republicans in this political climate, they didn't behave normally and we would have absolutely nothing in common. It was then that I realized how dangerous this partisan mentality can be, even to an ordinary 18-year-old such as myself. At one point in my internship, I was asked to run errands for a Democratic office. And I was once again shocked that when people on the Hill asked for help, uh, people on both sides of the, aisles responded, of the aisle responded to the call. I challenge you to go out of your way to learn more about people who you know are different from you. I challenge you to stop hiding behind political parties and start seeking out what you really believe in. I personally think that it is more important to value the success of our country as a whole rather than the, than the success of one political party over another. We should not blindly agree with the solution to an issue because we know the party we associate ourselves with agrees to that solution or has a particular stance on that issue. We should agree with the solution to a problem because we agree with that solution. I want to live in a world where we can have our own beliefs, but also acknowledge when we agree with other people, even if we know their beliefs are different from our own. After this internship, I stand by the fact that every single person on Capitol Hill should be uh, should have to work in the office of the party they wouldn't necessarily associate themselves with because it builds character and promotes bipartisanship. I challenge Congress to do just that. After all, the United States would not have become the United States if our founding fathers had decided that their opinion was the right opinion and refused to compromise. Lastly, I would like to leave you all with a quote by Maya Angelou. We are more alike, my friends, than we are unalike. Thank you.